Today's my birthday. And usually that doesn't mean much. It's kind of like your own personal New Year's and how the external world hypes it up more than you do yourself. But this year feels a little bit different. And I don't know if it's because it's the last year of my 30s and I'm either getting really old or really wise, uh, but somewhere in the middle of those, hopefully. But I want to make this year unique. So my goal is to document the big things in life, the fun, fun things. Also capture the small things, the little intricacies that make life what it is and the day of what it is. And calling it the happiness project. You know, so if y'all want to join me on this journey, come on through. Be a part of it. I sat back and thought about what happened in this past year and kind of what brought me the most joy. And the answer was simple. It's life. I know that sounds cliche, but I'm not just talking about anybody's life. I'm talking about specifically this little one. We were blessed to have this girl at the end of summer last year, but it wasn't a given. We found out that there might be some complications. Baby girl had something called a right aortic arch that basically means it's a slight modification to how your aorta would normally sit. Now this could lead to serious heart complications and certain debilitating chromosomal abnormalities, but through it all, she was born really healthy. There's a quote from my cousin Clara that will forever stick with me. It's that you'll never know how much your parents love you until you have a kid of your own. If you've ever been in love before, you can grasp the idea and how you feel from a movie and from books. You can somewhat understand the emotion, how you're supposed to feel. But for me, nothing could have prepared me for the way I felt when my daughters were born. It opened up a door to a level of love that I didn't even know existed. But that's where I wanted to bring us back to the blessing that is Amari. Amari, you little booger, have been already fighting to just to make it here. Your light shines with every giggle and laugh, brings so much joy to all of our lives. I can't wait to see who you become, how you'll be as a little sister, how much fun you'll have growing up with a sister. So for this first episode, I'll conclude it with that, that what I'm thankful for is life, the beautiful life of Amari. Be birthday, Papa.